What Ever Happened to Penny Candy? Chapter 10, The Boom and Bust Cycle. Dear Chris, with gold and silver eliminated from our money, no one is quite sure what is money and what isn't. Many definitions are used. One, M2, defines money as currency, checking accounts, traveler's checks, savings accounts, money market, mutual funds, and certain transactions between banks. If we subtract consumer price increases from M2, we get the real M2 money supply. Each time the government slows the creation of real M2, a recession hits. In 1982, recession was the worst since the Great Depression. To end it, officials inflated the money supply heavily between 1983 and 1986. Some of this new money went into stocks, causing the stock market to rise. This caught the attention of millions of investors. They climbed on the bandwagon. Stocks became fashionable, a fad. Much of the new money was channeled into the stock market, causing an enormous boom. The market shot from $800 in 1982 to $2,722 in 1987. When inflation of the M2 was slowed in 1987, the supply of new money in the stock market dried up. We got one of the worst stock market crashes in history, and eventually a recession. Uncle Eric. And I remember that time, kids. I remember seeing a book called Dow 3000. The author was predicting that the uh, general market, the Dow uh, Industrials, would reach the price of $3,000 before the turn of the century. And it was well under 1000 at that time. And... He was right. Well, we'll read chapter 11 in the next video. Thanks so much for joining us. Love you guys. Please remember, reach down, click like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment down below. We'd love to hear from you. As Tigger says, ta-ta for now.